So if we just look at the setup, yeah? Is one of these a before and after? It is indeed, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, okay? No, so the right hand one, you can see that your shoulder's very leveled off, mm -hmm. almost the left shoulder even looks lower to some extent. Your left arm is certainly a lot more kind of, come here, bending into the, uh, oh, that color, bending in that way. There's a bit more kind of yeah. left arm cross your torso, left shoulder and hip lower, mm -hmm. okay? Um, we want to try and get the sensation really that your shoulders and spine angle are kind of in that way, in that position. And then your lead arm now, almost from the left arm down to the golf ball, almost a straight line there, yeah? yeah. So your hands could go a smidgen forward, okay? This was the one I said the ball was a little bit too far forward. Not massively, but just a little but bit nearer. So a little bit too far in that direction, yeah? My hands needs are too to... far forward in that direction. No, your hands need to go forward this way slightly towards the screen and the ball needs like, to come back. Like yeah, more. again, we're talking like oh, a ball's okay. width, yeah? So at the moment now, if I get all these lines out of the way to make it make sense, okay, so clear that, okay? So at the moment now, I would want to see your golf ball kind of back here. I'll draw one there for some reason. There you go. So your club more on that red line. Okay, so a little bit more with your hands on okay. that green line and the ball just back. And we're talking like a couple of inches. It's not yeah. like you're going to move the ball back to your right foot and then have your hands like a cricket shot. Okay, yeah. it's just moving a little bit. As I said, even though you're in that position, it wasn't bad because the shot was very, very good, as you'll see in a second. Okay, we just want to get sure we get a slightly better setup. In terms of the actual backswing, the good thing is you just watch on the right hand one now where your head starts dropping. Mm -hmm. So your head start yeah. dropping down and then I sort of losing you up with the left hand one. You're keeping your height there a lot better, you see. Yeah. Head just tilts a little, which is fine, okay? Same good backswing with your arms because the left and hand one. Me as well. like, I exactly, you're yeah. Your legs not. Like, that's exactly. Why your legs can't. Exactly. And that's, it's all kind of interlinked. If one, if one body part does something, other body parts yeah. are going to just follow suit. And it all starts from set. If you're set up in a way that you were left arm bending in, right shoulder high, right hip high, now try and twit. You can't go anywhere. No. So you kind of figure out ways of where can you go. And your way of doing that was okay. I'll just sort of lock my leg out. As you said, if you're somebody who's used to sort of locking the leg back, well, listen. She feels comfortable. I'll do that. And hey, I can make yeah, a backswing. Like it doesn't feel right, but you can't seem to. Exactly. And if someone says, oh, don't move your leg back, like, well, I can't. <laughs> okay, so getting in a better position, at least you can see now with the green line, your head's behind the golf ball. Yeah, yeah. that's a good start position there, Rick, or a good top of the backswing there. Oh, yeah. Compared yeah, to the green line there. Yeah, so as you start coming down now into impact, head stays behind the golf ball. See the difference in the impact? Mm -hmm. So your hands are now and the hips are on that wall that we discussed there. Okay, so if I put a line down there. Creating that wall, your hands are on that wall, but look where your left shoulder is nice behind that, leaning back. Whereas on the, uh, oh, come here. on this one here now, your shoulders on that wall, the hands are kind of moved back. It doesn't, it looks a bit kind of like yeah. just awkward. There's no space. I mean, if you're kind of here, where where do your arms go? It's all kind of like, Ugh. and generally that will cause a golf ball to kind of go way to the left, unless you do some sort of miraculous adjustment, which obviously is going to make it very difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you come back through. Again, follow through now. Arms to me look a little bit wider through the ball there now. Right arm looks a bit more extended on the left hand one, where your right arm on the right one's a bit kind of yeah. slightly more bent into yeah. your side there, okay? And then through to a good follow through, which you've always had anyway. Your follow through is always very, very good on your left side. But certainly, if we can get a slightly better setup, it just means your head now can stay more stable in terms of height wise. Your right leg's not going to lock out, okay? And your head's not going to go down and lose space and then when you come back to golf ball they just got to stay behind the ball and you just give it a whack and those last four or five shots i mean that launch angle there 18 yeah. degrees 100 yards phenomenal shot to be fair so i mean a really really quick change there grip wise is a lot better as we said you're just going to be the one thing to be careful of obviously as you tip this shoulder underneath it'd be easy for your hand to kind of go whoop and go back underneath this way yeah so just be conscious of where your palm is still sort of sit kind of in this position if we're here it's easy if i was to do this and drop this shoulder this palm could start facing up so just be mindful that, of that it's slightly open. It feels to you way open because of what you've done before. Open, yeah. I've done it like this. Exactly. So it just the only read, I mean, that that would be that that's kind of square there. Okay. Is that how that's it should that's come? where it should be there now. The reason why it looks to you like it's going to the right is because this part of the club is nearer the screen than this sort of toe end of the club. Mm -hmm. If we line the bottom here now, if you actually look at the grooves, that's kind of square there. If we could take the lines off this club, they kind of go there between your feet. Okay. But if you do this and line the top bit up now. That now is sort of parallel to target, but the club face now is aiming way left. And that's the confusion a lot of people tend to have. They sort of line up with this part of the club rather than that. And more so with more lofted clubs and the club sits even further back kind of this way. It looks even more open with a sand line or a wedge, yeah? yeah. Um, but yeah, that's not been a major issue now with that in terms of 
these last few. But yeah, certainly Charlotte getting that set up a little bit more lean and tilt, get the hands slightly forward and the ball back. And we're talking a ball's width either way. Yeah, not like sort of six inches. Okay, yeah. make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Very, very good.